Mike, nostressmike.com. Now I want to talk about religious liberties. Oh, yeah. <coughs> you know, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm probably not open-minded on that. Uh, and the reason is, I'm not a religious kind of guy. Uh, and at least for, I'm not religious like I see so-called people that call themselves religious. I'm nothing like them. Now, I am highly spiritual. And if you don't know what that means, yeah, I can't help you. That'll be another video. But, anyway. Relig uh, religious liberty. Religious tolerance. Uh, my views. My views on this is religion is a good thing. Uh, kind of like a, a gun. A gun is a good thing. Uh, but both, it depends on how you use it. And um, that's where I can see uh, religion is has been a, uh, has been a being abused, and because it's being abused, people like me get turned off, and uh, we get soured with the idea of religion because of what we see. And this is what I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about why, what it is that we see, or at least I see. It doesn't make sense. Okay. One thing. Okay, one thing. I, I heard uh, uh, Missouri had some kind of thing where uh, the church, some church wanted uh, public money to put stuff on their playground. Okay. Uh, that playground is on church property. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, that kind of confuses me, uh, because, uh, for one thing, if it's church property, I think it's private property, and then, uh, if it's private property, what are we doing using public money on there? But, but I don't know, you know, this doesn't sound quite right right there, but... Uh, besides that, if the church can't afford, I mean, they can afford to put the, the swing set and the slippery slide, stuff like that, on a concrete uh, slab so that the kids can hurt themselves. But hey, you know, if, if, they, if they can afford to do this stuff, but they can't afford to follow up on the stuff, maintain or uh, uh, make their facility safe, uh, I think they're probably a bit off more than they can chew. Uh, because to me, uh, if the church needs any kind of money uh, from outside uh, sources, then the church overspent. I mean, when I need money, if, what, okay, if, if, if I need money, uh, my car, uh, you know, I got a new car. Okay. Uh, if, if I got a car with the payments are so big I can't afford them, uh, do you think people should help me make these payments? No. I got too much of a car. I should have got a smaller car or a junk car pay cash. Okay. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Barbara Klein. What's this? President Trump today has... NPR coming in. Wouldn't you know, they'd want to get in on the conversation. And, uh, but anyway, um, another thing that gets me, okay, yeah, it's, a religion should be free. My religion, if you want to call it religion, is, is uh, free from government control. And uh, the see, what I see in organized religions, they want to be uh, tax exempt. 
Okay, now, when you're tax exempt, to be tax exempt, there's uh, certain rules you got to go by. Okay, right off the bat, I'm thinking, why would any religion have rules to go by? You would think they have uh, morals morals and values that would cover that. I, I would think so. I mean, that, that's why I talked about I was with Charlie in China and Charlie's a Buddhist and uh, one of the things we were talking about is he was saying uh, well, to be a Buddhist, you're happy to pay taxes. I mean, that's part of being a Buddhist. Happy to pay taxes. Well, I guess that's one reason why I'm not a Buddhist. <laughs> why would I be happy to throw money in a pot where they're going to waste the money or even worse, use that money to do things to hurt me? Hurt me, my family, my friends, my fellow Americans. Why would I do that? So in other words, the religion itself should be able to handle its own expenses. Okay, now, if it's a true, to me, a true religion is not focused on me. It's focused on others. So the money they make should be to help the community. So we're, now we're back to, well, that church wanted money from the government to make his playgrounds safer. Okay? Are there other... Why doesn't other churches pitch in money and give it to that church if they've got such a dangerous playground? And what are they doing building a dangerous playground in the first place. <laughs> they never thought about maybe we don't want to put it on the concrete. <laughs> you know, so I'm not saying they put it on concrete, but if they need something softer, they should have thought about it when they put the thing together. That should have been figured into the cost on doing it. They shouldn't be out there begging and looking for a handout from the government, taking public money. That's what I. That's why I don't like paying taxes. You're gonna be weirdos like that. Don't think they can re reach in and take that money. That they, some way or another, they have. They should have access to it. You know what I mean? So, not only and that the church should be teaching personal responsibility and morals. That's what they should be teaching. In which, looking for a handout from the state is neither one. It's not personal responsibility, nor is it moral. So, you know, and it's it's activity like that that really makes me look down on all religions. And uh, the same thing I talked about if it was a, a senator or a congressman going to, to Washington, if I was if I was in charge of the state, I would buy some property there in Washington, and that's where they're going to stay. I would give them a minimal allowance to pay because if they if they need to make money, if they're looking for a job. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. I, why would I, they're supposed to be servants of the state you know it's not a profession and that's the same thing it would be in the church the people in the church they shouldn't be looking for pay now the people in the church should be offering them money because everybody needs a certain amount of money they should have a, a house for the preacher uh, right, where would it be? Right next door to the church. <laughs> so he got so he can be close to his work. But this is what I'm saying. <clears throat> There's it's religion 
has really got to the point where they they're using it as a tool instead of like I say teaching right from wrong it's kind of like the school system reading writing and arithmetic no it's used as a tool a tool for propaganda a tool to shape the children to what the state wants them to be but like I say what do I know I'm a free man I, I, I'm take personal responsibility. I've got good morals. I live my life by these morals. But, but like I say, I guess in most societies, especially this society, that's not a big plus, and it's not the majority of the people. Just Mike. No stress, Mike. Dot com.